The longer that I study the research about plant-based food, the more convinced I am that it's something really important. And it's not only really important for our health, it tastes great. So I'm delighted you're here. So um, one, one wonderful thing about having good friends is that sometimes they'll share recipes with you. And this is a recipe that a friend whose name is Faith shared with me, a fruit salad. And I thought, wow, that's one of the best fruit salads I've ever tasted. So I thought, well, you know, it's still kind of the end of summer. Um, we'll do it for tonight. But then, you know, finding mangoes at this time of the year, <laughs> it was a little challenging, but you know, it's very, it's a blessing that we have a variety of grocery stores. We have Morning Glory, and then of course Shaw's and Hannaford's, and we have Walmart. And it's, it's interesting, if you cover the bases, you can usually find most of what you want. So um, this is a fruit salad, and um, you can use a wide variety of fruits. The, the way I prepared it tonight was exactly how the recipe I saw, just with strawberries and mangoes and fresh pineapple, and then with the sauce that goes with it. So we're gonna make it right together. The, the so key that, to the salad, I really think, is the uh, sauce that you put over it. Um, and that's the fun part, um, while Lynn's washing her hands. You know, if you put bananas in a fruit salad, they usually go brown, right? So this has bananas in it, but it's in the sauce, and it doesn't go brown. And uh, it's a nice a nice way to sweeten. That's where the sweet taste comes from, is the bananas. So here's fresh pineapple. I just cut up two cups of fresh pineapple. And here's the mango. Don't you wish you could cut it that fast? <laughs> <laughs> and here's the strawberries. I actually got some more fruit that looked absolutely gorgeous when I purchased it at the store, and then I got it home and I tasted it, which is always crucial, before you add it in, and it was like, oof, it's really sad. It was blueberries. It was blueberries, yeah. Nice organic blueberries that tasted like mush. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll take them back. So, this is so, as you can see, it's very easy, it's very fast, and you can use a wide variety of fruits these are just the ones in the recipe that I was given. So I wanted to pass it on to you directly so you could see. So, this is a very easy sauce to make. You know, all of us have t many times when we need to get food on for I either for family or for guests, when you don't have two or three hours. You may just have 10 minutes. So this is one of these recipes you could do. You could put a sauce on most any fruit because it's so quickly. So you can either squeeze your own orange juice or you can get some, you know, nice orange juice. <laughs> so a quarter of a cup of, I'm, I'm actually gonna make a double recipe. So this is two quarter of a cups. That's, that's two, that would be a half cup. Where's your half cup measure? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to be good. <laughs> and here's the pineapple juice. Okay. And then your limes. And my theory on limes is that more is always better. <laughs> so. Lime juice is so good. You know, you can use it when making peanut, Thai peanut sauces and just all kinds of things that lime juice, lime juice does that are pretty wonderful. For whatever reason, limes are also easier to juice than lemons. I'm not sure why, but, but they're user friendly. So when I'm making my kale salad that I demonstrated here last year or anything else, I just 
If it calls for a couple tablespoons, I will just put in a whole lime. So it may be a little more, it's all right. So then you take a banana, and like I said in my directions, it needs to be nice and ripe. Because if it's not nice and ripe, it won't be sweet. You want the spots on it. You want the spots. And if this was at home, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> because it, I know... She doesn't like spots. If it's not <laughs> green, she won't eat it. But she'll put it into here. <laughs> so that's it. This is a very snazzy Vitamix. Go ahead. Okay. I don't need it. That's too, too snazzy for us. It needs to be plugged in, maybe. It's, yeah, now it's on, I think. Yeah. Now it works. Now. That's it. So it's almost embarrassingly easy, but it's absolutely delicious, and we all need to eat, we all need to eat more fruit. So I think it's excellent to have ways to prepare it that make it taste even more wonderful. So. Of all the things that we can do worldwide to uh, prevent premature mortality, eating more fruit is number one. It's a very simple thing, but if we could get people to eat more fruit, that would do more to prevent premature mortality than anything else. Even more than controlling all high blood pressure, which is a really, it's, that's number two actually. Number two thing, if we wanted to reduce premature mortality worldwide, would be to control everybody's blood pressure. But eating more fruit beats that out. Now I will say that if you're a diabetic and you eat this, your blood sugar will go up. Okay? Because it has ripe bananas and pineapple and mangoes. So if you're a, a diabetic and you don't want your sugar to go up, just put more berries in it. That's why we wanted blueberries in it. And raspberries particularly will lower your blood sugar. So if you eat raspberries with a meal or put raspberries into this, it would lower the effect of the sugar in it. So if you're a diabetic, berries are your friends and so are apples and pears. They won't push your blood sugar up as much as the tropical fruit will. But if you're not a, a diabetic, or if you're trying to avoid the flu or a cold, like we're gonna be talking about, eat more fruit, whatever kind it is, and you'll find out why shortly. <laughs> are there any questions? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get ready to serve this. There's a question in the back. You mentioned raspberries. What about mm -hmm. blackberries? Blackberries are good too. I've just seen the more studies on raspberries than blackberries, but I would guess that they're equal. Um, and the more of them you eat, the better. Berries are, are a great fruit. Melons also? Melons are a good fruit. They are digested more rapidly and they do push the sugar up just a little bit, but it's not a problem if you eat other things with them. Melons are wonderful for blood pressure. Uh, they, uh, watermelon, um, musk melons, and interestingly, cucumbers are very rich in citrulline, which is a precursor of nitric oxide, and as a result, it drops your blood pressure. It can be used, to, I have a patient who's allergic to diuretics, and she has high blood pressure and congestive heart failure, and we manage that with daily doses of watermelon. Oh, wow. yep. 
all year round she buys watermelon and if she doesn't get her watermelon her ankles swell and her blood pressure goes up enough <laughs> question but uh, it's just um, fresh pressed orange juice it's it's nothing fancy with lots of pulp you know the truth of the matter it's interesting if you eat an orange your blood sugar won't go up nearly as much as if you drink the same amount of juice that's in that orange because you don't chew it as thoroughly as a blender or a juicer juices it so we're transgressing a little bit here tonight if you're a diabetic but if you're not a diabetic and enjoy it and if you are a diabetic enjoy it just when you're home and do this throw more berries in it one more question. How much watermelon a day? It depends. It, it depends on the degree of the heart failure and the other medications okay. and that sort of thing. That's why I said enough. <laughs> uh, this this person has quite a bit of problem, and so she probably eats the equivalent of two cups a day. Yeah.